skin histology and disorders. To help students pass the state board written exam for cosmetology, esthetician, barber and manicuring licenses. Dermatology. Study of the skin, its functions, diseases and disorders and their treatments. Dermatologist is the doctor who treats skin diseases and disorders. Esthetician is a skin therapist who preserves the healthy skin by cleansing, massaging, toning and beautifying the skin, preventing it from aging. The skin is the largest organ of the body that protects the internal organs, regulates the body temperature, secretes and excretes oil and sweat, has a slight ability to absorb moisture and provides senses to heat, pain and touch. It is covered with acid mental an acidic covering that protects from bacterial invasions. The skin is the thinnest on the eyelids, thickest on soles of the feet. The average 150 pound man is covered with two square yards of skin that weighs about nine pounds. Nourished through blood and lymph, they provide nutrients such as proteins, carbohydrates and fats to the skin. Appendages of the skin. Hair, nails, sweat and oil glands are appendages of skin. They belong to the skin. Healthy skin is slightly moist, smooth, soft, and flexible and acidic. Skin is divided to epidermis and dermis, and there is a fatty underlying tissue. Epidermis has five layers, stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, stratum germinativum. Dermis is divided to two layers, papillary and reticular. The fatty tissue, also called subcutaneous tissue, is a fatty layer of skin that provides soft cushion to the skin. Epidermis, also called the cuticle layer or scarf skin, is 25 times thinner than dermis. It does not contain nerve endings and blood vessels, so when epidermis is accidentally cut, it does not hurt. Stratum corneum, the outer layer of epidermis, is also called horny layer, Contains dead cells that are constantly shed and replaced. Contains protein keratin. Epidermis is waterproof. Stratum lucidum. The layer of epidermis beneath the stratum corneum and above stratum granulosum. It is made of translucent cells that allow the light to pass through. Stratum granulosum. The layer of epidermis beneath stratum lucidum and above stratum spinosum. Contains cells that look like granules contains almost dead cells that are pushed to the surface of the stratum corneum to be shed away and be replaced with new cells. Stratum spinosum, the layer of epidermis that is located between stratum granulosum and stratum germinativum. It is a thin spiny layer. Stratum germinativum, the last layer of epidermis that is located beneath the stratum spinosum and the dermis, also called basal cell layer also called stratum mucosum, deepest layer of the epidermis responsible for the growth of epidermis, contains melanocytes, melanin pigment responsible for skin color. The more melanin, the darker the skin. Dermis, the layer beneath epidermis, also called derma, corium, cutis or true skin, approximately 25 times thicker than epidermis, divided to two layers, papillary and reticular. Unlike epidermis, dermis has nerve endings that react to heat, pain and touch. Papillary layer, the first layer of the dermis located beneath epidermis and above the reticular layer, contains papillae, a cone-shaped hair-like projections, some of them contain looped capillaries. Some papillae contain tactile carpuscles, which have nerve endings that react to sense of touch, contains melanin, the skin color pigment. Reticular layer, the second layer of dermis, supplies nutrients and oxygen to the skin, contains hair follicles, erector pili muscles, blood vessels, lymph vessels, sweat and oil glands, fat cells. Subcutaneous tissue is a fatty layer underneath the dermis, also called adipose or subcutaneous tissue, made of fatty layer that provides a protective cushion to the skin. Nerves of the skin. Sensory nerve fibers recognize the heat, pain, cold, touch and pressure to the skin and report to the brain by sending messages using motor nerve fibers. Sensory nerve fibers are abundant 
in fingertips found in the papillary layer of the dermis. Motor nerve fibers distributed to erector pili muscles of the hair follicles. They cause goose flesh when frightened or cold. Secretory nerve fibers regulate the oil and sweat production. Skin color. Melanin is responsible for skin color, mainly distributed to stratum germinativum layer of epidermis. It protects us from sunlight. Melanin is classified as eumelanin, dark brown to black color pigment, and pheomelanin, red to yellow color pigment. Hair, skin, and nails contain both eumelanin and pheomelanin in different ratios for different individuals. Collagen and elastin give strength, form, flexibility, and elasticity to the skin. They make up 70% of the dermis. Loss of collagen and elastin would result in loss of skin tone and suppleness, elasticity and form, and will add wrinkles to the skin. Oil glands of the skin are attached to the hair follicle, located all over the body except palms and soles. Secrete sebum, the oil that lubricates the hair. The oil gland pore opens into the pore of the hair follicle on the surface of the skin. Oil gland could be simulated by massage and electrical impulses. The overactivity of the oil gland is responsible for acne disorders, whiteheads and blackheads due to hardened sebum. Sweat glands, made of two parts, the coiled formation called fundus and the long duct that opens to the skin pore. Abundant to palms, soles, armpits and forehead. Helps body eliminate waste through sweat. Excrete about 1 to 2 pints of sweat daily. Sweat excretion is controlled by nervous system and is increased by emotions, exercise, heat and some drugs. Functions of the skin are protection, heat regulation, sensation, excretion, secretion and absorption. Skin nutrition. Healthy skin thrives on proper hydration consumption of fats, carbohydrates and proteins, vitamins A, C, D and E help support overall health of the skin. Water makes 70% of body weight, helps regulate body temperature, helps eliminate waste and toxins from the skin, plumps the skin cells, promotes proper digestion. Dehydration slows down body metabolism by 3%, weakens the body, dries out the skin, creates cracks and wrinkles, interferes with memory by a drop of 2%, slows down the digestion and elimination, causing bags under the eyes and dark circles. Vitamins for skin. Vitamin A is an antioxidant that helps to prevent skin cancer, helps improve skin elasticity and thickness, repair skin cells. Retin A or retinoic acid is used in acne treatments. Vitamin D aids in rapid healing of the skin stops the bones from degenerating. Vitamin D is produced by consuming nutrients containing vitamin D accompanied with exposure to sunlight. Sun rays. UVA rays are deep penetrating rays also called aging rays that cause wrinkles and sagging to the skin. UVB rays are called burning rays that result in sunburn and skin pigmentation although those rays help produce vitamin D. Sun protection. Wear sunblock when the skin is exposed to the sun. SPF, sun protection factor of 15 and above is recommended. Stay away from the sun between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Wear sunblock between and after swimming. Wear a hat and protective clothing outdoors. Avoid exposing children under 6 months to damaging sun rays. Factors affecting skin, environmental factors, pollutants, smoking, lifestyle factors, unhealthy food, smoking, illegal drugs, alcohol, skin lesions. Any disorder that does not resemble healthy skin is to be a skin lesion. There are three types of skin lesions, primary, secondary, tertiary. Cosmetologists and estheticians are only concerned with primary and secondary lesions, tertiary lesions and skin diseases are treated by doctors and dermatologists. Primary lesions. Bolla is a blister that contains fluid. Cyst 
is a semi-fluid abnormal formation above or below the skin that contains pus or abnormal matter. Macule is a small discolored spot on the skin like a freckle. Papule is a small elevated pimple. Pustule is an inflamed pimple that contains pus. Tubercle is an abnormal lump similar to papule, but larger. It is a solid lump above, under, or within the skin. Tumor is a mass containing abnormal cells varying in size. Nodules are smaller tumors. Vesicle is a small blister with clear fluid, not too deep in the skin, like poison ivy. Wheel is an itchy blister that is caused by an insect bite or a sting. It lasts only a few hours. Keloid is a thick scar from excessive growth of fibrous tissue. Scale is a flake, dry skin like dandruff. Scar is a light colored mark that is formed after the injury that has been healed. Ulcer is an open lesion filled with pus and lots of skin depth. Disorders of oil glands. Milia is a small formation of sebum at the pore of the hair follicle. It does not have any visible opening to the skin. Comedones or blackheads are formed when the sebum covering the pore of the hair follicle is filled with oil and dirt. Steatoma is a fatty cyst filled with sebum varying in size. Could be as small as a pea and as large as an orange. Acne is chronic inflammatory condition of sebaceous glands characterized with a bacterium known as Propionibacterium, abundant on face, back, and chest. Seborrheic dermatitis is a skin condition that is characterized with dry or oily scaling or crusting and itching, most abundant around the eyebrows, in the scalp and hairline, middle of the forehead, and the side of the nose. Rosacea is a chronic inflammatory condition of the cheeks and nose, characterized by redness and dilated capillaries. Osteatosis is dry skin and very little production of sebum. Disorders of sweat glands and hydrosis is lack of perspiration. The skin that does not perspire does not eliminate toxins through the skin. Hyperhidrosis is excessive perspiration. Bromidrosis is foul smelling perspiration. Miliaria rubra is prickly heat that is characterized with small red vesicles that burn and itch, like diaper rash or the rash on the back of the neck that erupts after clipper cuts. Inflammations of the skin. Dermatitis is abnormal inflammatory condition of skin with lesions. Dermatitis venenata, contact dermatitis, is caused by touching or inhaling irritant substances like chemicals in the salon. Other allergic and chemically caused dermatitis inflammations are allergic contact dermatitis and irritant contact dermatitis. The body releases histamine to help it cope with inflammation by drawing blood to help to remove the irritating substance. Eczema is a skin inflammation characterized with many forms of dry and moist lesions that cause itching or burning sensations. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory skin disease. Doctors cannot find the cause so far. It is found on the scalp, elbows, knees, chest, and lower back. Many medical creams and ointments are available to calm the inflammation. Skin pigmentations. Albinism, congenital deficiency of the melanin pigment, characterized by pinkish white skin, white hair, pink eyes. The skin and eyes are sensitive to the light and UV rays. Leucoderma is characterized with abnormal white patches in the skin. It is a congenital disease that destroys pigment producing cells. Vitiligo is an acquired condition of white patches on the skin, a melanin deficiency in patches. Stains are abnormal brown skin patches with irregular shapes, can happen after certain disease, during aging or disappearance of moles, freckles or liver spots. Cloasma, hyperpigmentation on the skin, Due to sun exposure or aging skin, mostly found on forehead, nose, cheeks and arms, like moth patch or liver spots. Tan is the pigmentation of the skin due to the overexposure of the sun and UV rays. Nevus is a birthmark. It is an abnormal pigmentation of skin or dilated capillaries. 
Abnormal growth of skin is called hypertrophies of the skin. Keratoma is a callus that forms from constant pressure to the hands and feet. Mole is a small elevation on the skin. Skin tag is a flesh-colored growth of skin, usually growing on the neck. Verruca is a wart caused by a virus and infection. Needs to be treated by a doctor. Skin cancer is caused by the overexposure to the sun. Basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer, characterized by light or pearly nodules. Squamous cell carcinoma, characterized by red papules or nodules, it is of more serious nature. Malignant melanoma, characterized by black or dark brown patches raised or with uneven texture, is the most serious forms of skin cancer. It can occur on areas of the body that are not often exposed to the sun. To avoid dermatitis inflammations in the salon, follow sanitation procedures. To avoid skin cancer complications from moles, check for ABCDEs of the cancer checklist. Asymmetry, border, color, diameter, and evolving.